Watch the edges of the picture during this launch. <coughs> and that's down to the image stabilization software that uh, tries to keep the picture steady initially jumping around. And if you look in the bottom left hand corner where you can see the uh, date and time overlay uh, recorded by the camera you can see how that's jumping now. It gives you an idea of what the uh, unprocessed video was like. Okay so it was a calm Thursday. We're off on a roughly 13 kilometre mission here. Uh, switched into auto straight after launch after a couple of seconds. Uh, and it's heading south here, it's climbed to 70 meters, uh, heading towards Spurnal. Um, not much to see here, is there really? There's some high tension power cables in the distance which uh, I didn't want to fly over so a turn before that but the the bulk of this mission is actually off to the north so I'm heading in the wrong direction here but uh, I wanted to get the thing lined up over the river uh, and, and follow the river uh, all the way up to uh, the lake in Arrow Valley Park So turning now, you'll see uh, after the next turn, I think, down in the bottom left hand corner, there's a, a sort of uh, lake, you might call it, it it's really part of the uh, spernal uh, water treatment, sewage treatment works, and you see it again here now, your bit to the uh, left, there it is. And now we're turning again soon uh, and we're heading back more or less north then, so back towards the uh, launch point. Uh, and you can see the, the river now coming into shot. Uh, you see the trees more than the river most of the way. Studley Church is slightly right of the uh, centre of the picture now. Um, more or less in the centre of the picture, in the distance, you can see two big trees. Uh, and our cars are parked between those. That's, uh, that's where we launched from. So we'll be uh, back past the launch point in another uh, minute or so. The built up area ahead is uh, sort of the edge of Studley. You notice that uh, Studley's all to the one side of the river, there's virtually nothing on the other side of the river other than uh, the church and uh, a few small buildings. So in the distance ahead now is uh, Studley Cricket Ground and beyond that are the football playing fields. Um, the road sort of well ahead now but it will be over on the left after we've turned. That's the A435 and we're actually climbing now up to about 100 metres high. Uh, so as to be uh, well, safely high for crossing the road. So we're crossing over the road somewhere here. Washford Mill pub is uh, 
straight ahead well, you can't see a lot of it and uh, you can see the uh, Washford Industrial Estate over towards the right and we'll be coming back over that on the, on the way back home We're still following the river, although it's all hidden by the trees. That's part of the uh, park, park farm, I think that's called, industrial estate. Um, ATS uh, tyre fitting and so on ahead. Once we cross this road, um, we're now over the southern edge of uh, Arrow Valley Park. And the river is still down amongst the trees below us. There's a, a path to the right of the trees on the sort of edge of the field uh, that runs through the park, not far from the river, so we're sort of following between the river and that at the moment. Can't really see the lake yet. Or no, I can't see it on this small preview screen. You can see uh, Ipsley Church over to the right side of the picture. There's a small lake uh, ahead. If fishermen go, there's a few ducks and just disappearing out of the view now. But that's uh, a small puddle almost on, on the uh, on the River Arrow. So the the big road you can see ahead just beyond the traffic island, this is the main uh, I think it's called the Bromsgrove Highway. If you were to turn left and go along there, you'd be heading towards Bromsgrove. And now we can see the uh, the lake, uh, more or less in the centre of the shot. And I believe that the industrial estate over on the left now is, is called Lakeside. Uh, and we'll soon begin descending a little bit uh, while we fly over the lake, but not not very low. Uh, get down to maybe 50 metres above the lake eventually. You can see there's a couple of islands in the middle, one big one, one small. There's a, a boat club, yacht club, whatever it's called. Uh, about one o'clock now. And we basically fly around this little island and then head back down the lake and back home. The, the big uh, building in the middle of the shot there, at the bottom now, that's a sort of cafe that you can uh, go and sit in and have a cup of coffee and watch what's going on in the lake. So now we're heading back south. Um, begin to climb again soon so you'll see the uh, horizon disappear down towards the bottom of the picture and this is to get back up to a nice safe 100 meter level while crossing the uh, the Bromsgrove Highway I don't really know why it's weaving around here I don't think there were any uh, turning points there. It must have just got caught by a, a gust. 
So there's no pre-programmed uh, turning points anymore. It's just a straight path home. So any uh, any wandering around you see now is just as a result of uh, the plane getting blown off course and and the autopilot trying to get back on course again. Uh, I'm not sure what this big building is, just uh, disappearing out of the bottom of the shot, but uh, Ipsley Church is over on the left, and uh, we're back over the, the field at Ipsley where we used to fly model planes. So the river is uh, off, to the, uh, off to the right a little bit now, we're basically taking a, a straight line back home rather than uh, following the river. So the big Halfords depot must be somewhere around here. Well, I'm not sure which of these uh, big buildings it is. Maybe it's that big one in the centre of the shot there. So, Arrow Valley Park, which is a, a long, thin strip of land uh, at this, this southern end, is, is off to our right now. And I'm guessing that this is uh, Alfords that we're flying over, although I'm not sure. But basically clipping over the edge of... Uh, and Washford Industrial Estate and then pretty soon it will be uh, fields all the way back home So the, the green field you can see now above the uh, head of the brown fields is the one we're going to land in and the, the two big trees with the cars parked between are now on the right hand edge of that field as we look at it. So we're still roughly at 100 metres now. Um, although it begins to descend automatically uh, as it gets over the field down to about 40 metres I think and then I've got a few other waypoints set but I took over and landed it uh, manually anyway You see another model aeroplane flying around.
And I think this is still on auto here. You'll, you'll see when the flying gets a lot smoother. <laughs> Sorry, a lot less smooth. That's uh, that's when I took over. Not probably now. Here we go, touchdown. <laughs> 